Hello boaters, I'm James with Motion RC, and today we're gonna be talking about the 200 scale USS Missouri uh, coming from Bancroft. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. If you're a fan of World War II, if you're a fan mm -hmm. of the Navy, if you're a fan of boats, um, all these warships are really fantastic from this era. Obviously the Missouri, a lot of history behind her, uh, and just a fantastic representation of this excellent uh, you know, battleship here and um, just so excited to have it uh, in on the table and to be able to take it to the lake and uh, drive it around. Man, she just cruises. She is really, really, really beautiful. As far as the stats go, she's about 53 inches uh, or about 1,350 millimeters long. Again, she's 200 scale, but even at that scale, the level of detail on the top, I mean, the amount of guns and armament on this thing is absolutely fantastic. Some of the other stats, she's driven by four 550 brush motors inside. So there's four screws on the outside, two four blade, uh, two five blade, and uh, it, really, it really gives her some speed on the water, probably far more speed than she needs to drive scale, but it's beautiful, it's proportional, so you know, give it like half throttle as you drive around your transmitter, um, and she's gonna look nice and scale. On the upper deck, the, uh, the, big, the big turrets, they do move, but manually, so you can move all three if you want to, but guys who wanna go harder on this to add more realism, you could get those running on a servo, I'm sure, with some manipulation. Um, if you wanna have those turn and fire, maybe add lights to it, things like that. But taken out of the box, I wanna show you, the way these Bancroft, all these Bancroft warships come out of the box is absolutely, uh, you know, stunning and great for keeping the details. Since you don't have to do any work really to this model, there's hardly anything you have to add to it to get it uh, to look the way it does. It comes out of the box mostly looking like this. You'll see it's packaged in a tremendous amount of foam. And I will say all that foam is molded to the hull um, and is great for uh, travel. So if, if you buy a model like this, I would suggest keeping the box. Don't cut it open the way I did to show you. I wanted to show you that side view just to show you. you leave that side like that top uh, leave that side connected and uh, you'll be able to place this model back in there and it'll transport much easier whether you take it to the lake to a river to a pool somewhere if you want to travel with it um, it'll be a lot easier than trying to bring it on just the supplied uh, you know display stand this display stand comes with uh, pretty much every model and it's molded to fit perfectly uh, The hull but it would slide around uh, in your car if you just leave it out there And then you'll end up with damage that you know You just don't want to have with a model at this price and that looks this good now as far as other scale features again All this hardwood is all real wood on top the whole deck you could see that you know hand put together all the guns on top uh, most of this is metal. There's definitely some plastic in there too, but all the uh, all the detail around the edges, all this railing, that's all metal. So even if you were to happen to bend one, you can bend it back um, and get it back going because I, I know if you're like me, sometimes you, you might do something like try not to make any fast movements around these things because if you accidentally go to reach for something, you hit something and it's just gonna uh, make you mad uh, if you break something off. But uh, we, did good with, we did good with this one. So as far as what you have to do though, when you take it out of the box, again, she looks just like this. The only things, uh, the, the secondary things that are gonna come out of the box are the accessories are gonna be these four turrets, and these are the turrets that are gonna hide your screws. So right now I have the screws loose because I'm gonna take off the top. There are four screws on this. Uh, and these will just place, once you screw it down, these will just place in here, one, two, three, four, and they're gonna hide those screws. You know, so so again, you don't see that. And then they just give you two little American flag de decals. And uh, I just tried to go back into, um, you know, into some old photos to see where they place. The manual doesn't tell you where they go, but I assumed one was gonna go on the front, and then I just put the other one there. Um, I wasn't sure where to put it to be honest, but uh, cause it looked different in a few different pictures, but uh, everything's looking good. You got the planes on the back on their, on their rigs that would, you know, that would shoot them off, which is super cool as well. And they can, they can turn a bit. 
Um, all around, she's just absolutely fantastic. Now, as far as what other stuff comes out of the box, again, you get your ready-to-run transmitter. And now, when it comes to boats, these transmitters are uh, only really two functions that are going to happen. One's going to be for your throttle, up and down. So, reverse, it does reverse, and it does forward. And then the other one's just going to swing your rudder back and forth, so you can turn in either direction. So, it's very simple as far as you know, driving her around in the water. It takes anyone can do it. You can hand the sticks to a kid. Just be careful they don't smash the boat into something. That's what you don't want to do if you go into the lake. Then you get your charger. So it's just a, you know, plug-in charger and you plug your battery. Uh, you charge it through the battery lead and it does have, you know, lights that let you know, red, green, let you know if it's charged, charging, you know, etc etc and then the battery cut that comes with it is an admiral 2800 2s pack and when we took it out to the lake i was probably driving this thing around for 15 20 minutes and um never you know i was still able to drive around i still had 50 percent left in the battery you know it doesn't draw too much power so that battery is enough but with the weight that you're, you're putting ballast inside anyway, and we'll talk about that in a bit. You could easily get yourself a five, six thousand 2S pack if you never want to have to worry about charging for a long time, and you probably get multiple trips uh, to the lake on a pack like that. So, uh, you know, that's all up to you, but the included battery, more than enough. You do get an Allen key, and that Allen key, again, is just for those four screws. So once you loosen all those up, we'll show you how to take it off, because again, it all comes off one piece, so this turret here and the back is all that comes uh, with the model. And it comes right off the top. And there you go, you have your decking. And then taking a look inside, uh, you can see the way I did it. Um, Again, I have my ballast, so I used a bag of BBs. So I would suggest running to your local Walmart um, or your sporting goods store or even Amazon. Buy yourself uh, a bigger case of BBs. You might want about a, you know, I don't know, a four pound uh, set. I didn't have to use that much to balance this model as is. Uh, the model was pretty good uh, out of the box, but just need a little more to weigh it down. Because again, whenever you ballast a uh, boat or an aircraft carrier like this, that red, the separation between the red and gray is where about where you want your water line to be. So, um, you know, you, you take this model, fill up a bathtub like we're going to show you here, place the model in with nothing in it, see where it's sitting, and then I put the bag inside and start pouring the BBs into the bag. And then, um, as you see the water line, as you see it starts sitting in the water line, you can spread the BBs out in that bag and move them because you also want to get side to side. You don't want it to capsize you know, uh, on its side to side. So you kind of want to lay it on the bottom. Now there's a bunch of ways to do this. Being that this is a model that, um, you know, I don't, I'm going to take with me to events, things like that. And eventually probably, you know, who knows, might, might sell it to one of you guys. If you see me at a show, once we get all the media we need for it, I didn't go with a permanent ballast solution in here. I know a lot of people from reading uh, on the boating forums and such, they'll take the BBs and fill the bottom with the BBs and then they'll glue them in. Like they'll just put a layer of glue or epoxy or something and you know, do it to set it and forget it and never have to do it again. I actually with these boats, considering they don't go too fast, it's not like a plane where you're gonna, you know, you have to strap down the battery because if you make a sharp maneuver, you don't want the CG to shift. This boat doesn't really do, you know, boat's not gonna go too fast where I would expect any sort of shift so i was able to i just laid the the bb bag in there spread it out and it didn't move um and i was able to drive around just fine but i would recommend at least taping the bag in a little bit like that's what i just put a little tape in there just to make sure it doesn't go but i want to be able to take that bag out and off um, but it's up to you how you want to do that. But taking a look inside again, you're going to see your four drive motor system. So all four, you know, solder together, nice and neat, easy access. If you ever need to replace uh, one of these motors, again, they're 550 brush motors. You're going to see deep inside under, you're going to have the servo for the rudder is uh, towards the, uh, the back. And then on the side of the, uh, of the boat, you're gonna see your attached ESC pre-installed, you're gonna see your receiver pre-installed, and the on-off switch, uh, easy access to turn on and off. And then it's up to you, again, the battery placement. I just use a piece of Velcro, place the battery in first before uh, I, I put in my ballast because the battery has to take into account for your ballast. So I thought, 
for you guys, if the ESC and the receiver is on one wall of it, I put the battery towards the opposite wall to try to even it out. Easy enough to get the, uh, so say you get your battery plugged in, you turn it on, then all you're gonna do is line it up. It lines up pretty easily. Put the, put the top back on, screw down your four screws, Put your guns in and you'll be good to go to uh, see what you see here. Her driving out on the lake. Now as far as driving it around, uh, again sailing it around, sorry. You know she doesn't do too much, obviously it's a big warship. She's there to look, you know, look the part and look beautiful. But it is very relaxing to take it to a lake. Um, you know, uh, the day we went out there I had a float plane, I had the warship, I had a Titanic. So it was fun um, to take it out. But she's again, she's got a lot of speed with the four motor system. She's faster than the Titanic for sure. Um, but speed isn't really, you know, what you're looking for in a boat. I don't know, unless you are, but you know, that's not her purpose. But the rudder definitely turns this boat around, no problem. Um, you do have to take a wider turn than say like a speedboat or something like that. So just keep in mind if you're, you know, if you're getting close, you don't want to, you know, I would, my only real concern was driving it too close to the shore. I don't want to have rocks skidding across the bottom. I don't want to mess up the paint, um, things like that. So just keep it out a little far away from you. And she just, man, she just looks the part. I mean, it's a, it's a piece of history come to life in front of you. And what's always great about these Bancroft models, um, the fact that you're taken out of the box and the level of detail and work, you can see the effort. Like there's, you know, obviously a lot of these parts are probably made by a machine, but these are hand placed to uh, get this to the way it is. You know, you can tell the decking is hand, you know, hand attached. Like it takes a lot of uh, patience to probably produce one of these, you know, and uh, it, it's worth it when you get it, when you get it in person. And when you take the model out, the fact that it is an RC model is awesome, but you can easily put this right up on your mantle. I mean, this is a mantle piece. You know, I know a lot of collectors out there, even if you're just a collector and you never plan on uh, driving it around for RC, uh, you can do this too. I don't know how many models you're gonna find that have this level of detail and you add that functionality, it's just so cool. You know, just really, really cool. And uh, I'm happy to have it here with all the other Bancraft boats. You know, I had done the uh, Nagato uh, last year and uh, we plan on doing more of these um, to show you guys just the level of work going into these Bancroft boats because they're really beautiful and we're happy to be able to offer them to you guys. So again, guys, here it is, the uh, one 200 scale Missouri in all her glory. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you wanna see more stuff like this, or remember, Motion RC's YouTube channel, we're doing boats, we're doing cars, we're doing trucks, we're doing tanks, we're doing planes, we're doing jets, we're doing helicopters, we're doing tips, we're doing it all here. So hit the subscribe button as well, so you'll never miss out. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.